Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the Hydra Bells of Steel Squat Rack Rig. Squat racks are something that you can only have if you have a place to actually put them. We got our hands on this squat rack because we have a metal shop at our location, so people can come in from the shop in the middle of the workday and they can knock out some non-technical stuff that does not compete with their other types of training. Your kettlebells are your absolutely most important thing. Working on your clean, your squat, your press, your snatch, your Turkish getup, your swing. But if you run that program by changing the angles, you can attack different things in the middle of the day. We have a buzzsaw bench set up here and we can change the angle on this every day, change the bar, change the weights, and change how we're doing things. Think of this as an awesome way to kill time. I really like the Hydra Squat Rig because it has six posts instead of four inside of each section. So think of this six posts, one, two, three, four, five, six as being a main squat rig. We have two of them. This really allows us to have four positions. So we can have one set up for bench, do your Turkish get ups first in the morning so that you're awake and you're doing your movement patterns. Then you can come in and do this to not compete with your Turkish get up. You can have a position set up in the back where now you can come in and do something like overhead press. And then on the other side, you can have something like a squat station or a deadlift station inside of the rack. The really fun thing about the Hydra rig with its centrally loaded beam here, so the one in the middle, is that even without bolting this thing to the ground, this thing is super stable for all types of swinging movements. We can adjust the height on everything so we can set up for different stuff. Think of this as my normal pull-up rig, I have not been doing pull-ups for several years because I've been on the road. Think maybe four years since I've done a serious pull-up program. I have an aerial rig over here to start retraining circus arts. In order to retrain circus arts, an infinite amount of pulling complexity, we need to get back to working on our basics. Our pull-ups, our toes to bars, our skin the cats. We can do it off of this central point because even my 250 pounds swinging on that bar will not affect the stability of the rack, even though it's not currently bolted down to the ground. Squat racks are a fun thing to have, but they are by no means necessary. Your kettlebells are the best money you're gonna spend. A competition adjustable kettlebell with the maximum number of weights allows you to train almost anywhere. This is something you have when you're a professional trainer and when you're working on a bunch of other projects. We still work on a lot of film content at this studio and in this space, we have special effects guys, we have stunt guys coming in and out of here all the time. So we're going to have a place for people to do all kinds of stuff. With a rig, you can do all these different types of shoulder therapy, hanging, and then we're gonna have points off the ceiling so we can do harness work and do your basic stunt training in here for fights and everything else. This rig is big enough that we can set stuff up and leave it. So we don't have to alter this thing every day. We don't have to come in and load and unload plates every time we do stuff, which is fun because it means you can move really, really fast. You wake up in the morning, you do the most important things that you need to do. That means your kettlebell fundamentals because movement is the most important thing. Then you do your club swinging programs, your mace swinging programs. Those are all the other real movements that you need to do. But doing something that burns calories every hour on the hour and just clears your head as you're doing some type of other complicated work is a fun thing to have. I like the Hydra rig because of that central post, this central beam in here. We have two squat stations on the end and we have two pull-up stations and these ones are really high for a reason. It's so that we can do other type of stuff on it later that we'll talk about in future videos. One thing that's really hard to do without a squat rack is something like muscle up training. When you're gonna do your basics of muscle up training, which I haven't done since I was on a project in maybe 2018, you can adjust the height of your bar by putting a barbell on here, throwing a band over it, wrapping around, and banding it on. 
This allows us to have a bar at different heights so that we can work on getting up over top and working on that lockout position, which is the top of a muscle up. Also with this rig, we have something that I really like, landmine stations, which are bolted into the corner. So we can work on all of our Olympic lifts, increasing the amount of weight in a different angle than we do with kettlebell and clubs. Landmine allows us to work on our forward pressure from our feet. That means we get to set up inside of the movement and lean into the movement as if it's the start of a sprinting position. And we get to work on all of our transitions with forward pressure. Kettlebells are straight up and down. You can work on your walking patterns very well with kettlebells, clubs, and mace, but landmine is gonna give us a whole nother avenue of things we can attack when we're working with professional clients. It took us a while to put this together. We tried it in a bunch of different configurations. The most important thing to note when putting something like this together is that there are two different lengths of bolt. You wanna have the least amount of stuff hanging out here as possible. This one is just a little bit long. Things like this are interesting to put together because it's very hard to get a wrench that fits in this little space here that keeps it from rotating. The long bolts are meant to go through three things. So bar plus one item on one side, one item on the other side, that gives you enough thread to actually get through the whole thing. But you can see down here, I have to go back through and change these to short bolts. I used long bolts here, but that was messed up. I should make this shorter so that these tags aren't sticking out. This is just the start of this idea. Eventually we're going to figure out how to mount a wooden dummy in here for different types of martial arts training. There's going to be heavy bag setups. We have obstacles over here in the corner and we have all of our cardio machines. I spent most of my career as a trainer traveling a bunch, which meant you took kettlebells and clubs. All of this is the fun stuff if you're not actually going anywhere, if you have months to train. This is the beginning of our Batman station and it's eventually gonna cover this whole side of this warehouse with circus gear, pulleys, and all of your fight gear integrated into the idea. If you do something like physical labor or technical labor for a living, having something like this that you can walk to that doesn't compete with anything else but still allows you to move helps me think in particular. When you're working with some type of complex problem, design of some type, doing something physical in the middle of it helps. This is here to support better mental function more than it is anything else.